Hyundai teams with EV making startup Canoe to get its skateboard platform. The plan is to use the Canoe platform to enable spacious interiors and flexibility in future Hyundai and Kia electric vehicles. Hyundai and Kia are partnering with EV startup Canoe to create a scalable platform for the automaker's future vehicles. Canoe is preparing to produce subscription-based electric vans, with the first ones expected out in 2021. Canoe's skateboard platform is what Hyundai, Kia are interested in. It consists of not only the battery but also the motor and controller, allowing for more interior space for passengers. Hyundai Motor Group has announced that it is partnering with EV subscription startup Canoe to create a scalable electric skateboard platform for future Hyundais and Kias. It will be based on the architecture Canoe is using for its upcoming electric vehicles, which will be sold on a subscription basis. Hyundai says that Canoe will provide engineering services to help the automaker create an all-electric platform. Canoe's upcoming subscription-based van uses the startup's skateboard design, which places not just the battery under the passenger area, but also the motor and controllers. The result is essentially a flat plane that allows for designs with lots of cabin space. The Hyundai Motor Group believes this architecture will allow for a simplified and standardized platform. The move would reduce costs, and Kia and Hyundai would be able to quickly adjust an EV assembly line to meet customer demand. Canoe was founded at the end of 2017 by former Faraday Future executives. Within 18 months it had unveiled its electric van and subscription service. Beta testing for the service began in September of 2019 with a full rollout to happen sometime in 2021. By partnering with an automaker, Canoe is following the path set by Rivian, which has partnered with Amazon and Ford. Both companies can use these deals to secure the capital needed to create their own product while helping an established company jumpstart its EV roadmap. In fact, Canoe recently started a waiting list for its service. We have been working diligently to develop a bold new electric vehicle, and partnering with a global leader like Hyundai is a validating moment for our young company said Canoe CEO Ulrich Kranz in a statement. Canoe's deal with Hyundai Kia announced last year appears to have fallen flat. New Canoe chairman Tony Aquila broke the news last Monday during an icy investor call, as The Verge reports. The collapse is set against a backdrop of a strategy change at Canoe. The Californian startup seems to want to keep their skateboard platform to themselves and sell vehicles to fleet operators rather than selling the EV technology to third parties. That is the positive reading from the company's first investors call that saw the CEO missing from the briefing and a CFO having resigned. The second major departure in recent weeks following Canoe losing its head of corporate strategy, according to The Verge. What's more, between the lines, it sounded as if there were disagreements with the Korean group about Canoe's intellectual property. These are significant surprises on the call today, and that's not ideal, The Verge quotes Roth Capital analyst Craig Irwin saying at one point on the call. Canoe had announced the deal with Hyundai in February 2020, and it was supposed to result in both the Hyundai and Kia brands building vehicles on Canoe's electric vehicle platform. Canoe, only two years old at the time, called it a key partnership, with the industry considering it a major sign of trust in the company's tech. Albert Bierman, head of research and development, Hyundai Motor Group, said at the time, the company would collaborate with Canoe engineers to develop a cost-effective Hyundai platform concept that is autonomous ready and suitable for mass adoption. Hyundai has yet to comment on today's news. Canoe did not respond beyond the initial statements by the new chairman Aquila. The chairman did add in the call that the startup's board of directors decided to de-emphasize its engineering services, the part of Canoe's business that was supposed to see it provide technology to bigger companies that wanted to enter the electric vehicle space. The executive also said, I think it was a little premature, when asked about partnerships directly. The California-based startup appears to have also taken a step back from the original plan to sell its 2019 unveiled electric minibus via a subscription model. After that, Canoe had unveiled two other EV concepts in the form of a multi-purpose delivery vehicle and a pickup truck which they now seem to want to sell directly. We have so much demand for our three vehicles. Let's get all that work done, and then let's, you know, look at if there are partnerships, Aquila said according to The Verge. The company has seen a lot of change recently. Canoe's previous chief financial officer Paul Balciunas will be succeeded by Renato Giger on an interim basis. 
Canoe co-founder Ulrich Kranz appears to still be CEO after his partner Stefan Krause had left the company already although his contract is allegedly under revision. The Californian e-mobility startup Canoe, formerly Evolos City, announced its IPO in August 2020. The company has entered into a definitive agreement with the investment firm Hennessy Capital Acquisition to merge for the purpose of an IPO. The Spock deal was completed last year.